All right, guys, in, uh, in this video here, I'm going to talk about some complex circuits. It's basically circuits that combine series and parallel uh, concepts, okay? So, so you see here you have this, the two and the four are in series, but the combination of those two is in parallel with the three. And then I have a 10 here that will be in series once I finish the whole combination here. So the way I treat this is I draw another circuit or circuits, okay? So I'll put my six ohm here, because those are in series, okay? And in series, they should have the same current going through them. I put the 10 ohm here, okay? And I'll put my three ohm here, okay? And I'll draw another one. Okay, so I'll keep my 10 ohm here, okay? And this six and three in parallel, if you, do the, uh, if you do the math, if you do one over R EQ equals one over six plus one over three, this should be a two ohm resistor, okay? So basically now we're looking at an overall of 12 ohms because these are in series now, okay? Now, my job is to find the current, okay? And the, volt, the current going through each one of these resistors up here, and the voltage drop across each. So the way I'm going to do this is I'm going to start from the bottom and I'm going to build up to the top. Okay, so I'm going to mark my current in red and my voltage in green. Now, 24 volts, 12 ohm resistor. So the formula we're going to be using is V equals IR pretty much. Okay, now uh, 24 equals I times 12. So the current here should be should be two amps coming out of here. So it should be two amps here. Should be two amps here. For the voltage, I do V equals IR, but for each one. So this will be V equals IR, so that's four volts, okay? This is gonna be 20 volts. So then 20 and four is 24, so which makes sense, okay? I think the 10 I'm pretty much done with, so I'm just gonna write it here. It's two amps and 20 volts, so we're pretty much done with that. Now let's go back to the to here. So the six ohms and the three ohms combined will give you the two ohms. Now they are in parallel, which means they share the same voltage. And that voltage is four volts. So this one gets four volts, this one gets four volts. For the current, you do V equals IR. So you do four divided by six. So this is two over three of an amp. This one is gonna be uh, four over three amps, okay? Now we go up here. So this is basically four thirds of an amp and four volts, okay? Now these two are in series. So when they are in series, we, we learned that the current remains constant. So the current going through this two here is the same as the current going through this six. So this is two thirds of an amp and two thirds of an amp. Okay, now if I wanna find voltage, all I have to do is do V equals IR, so two thirds times two. So this is gonna be four over three volts, and this is gonna be four times two thirds, so that's gonna be eight over three volts, okay? Now, if you add up these two voltages, you should end up with four volts, which makes sense. And that's pretty much how you solve these complex circuits. They are not too bad. I mean, they can get very hard, but we're not gonna do anything super hard. Okay, now, couple questions. If I wanna find the current going through the whole circuit, okay, what will it be? Well, it will be two amps, because what's happening is the current is coming from here. It's two amps, right? And comes here and it splits into two thirds an amp and four, four thirds of an amp. Okay, so the current in the whole circuit is two amps. If I wanna measure that current, I need an ammeter. So where do I put the ammeter? I can place it here. It has to be in series with, uh, with the circuit or I can place it here or I can place it here. So there's a lot of places where I can place that ammeter. Okay, now if I wanna find the voltage drop across the 10 ohm resistor, the voltage drop, you have to go 
across, remember? You have to go from each side of the resistor. If I want to find the voltage drop across this 2 ohm, I'll just go across that resistor. If I want to find the current going through the 2 ohm, which happens to be the same as the current going through the 4 ohm, I can put an ammeter here. I can put an ammeter here after breaking the circuit. I can put an ammeter here. So this will all measure the current going through the, the 2 or the 4 uh, ohm resistor. And that's pretty much uh, complex circuits. All right, see you later.